Hey y'all, Charlotte from JC Bits. So um, well, let's talk about the sliding gag today. This is just a nice bit, nice sliding gag. This is one of the head stalls that we offer. Um, we were offering the wire head stall that had the nylon slides, but we're not going to do that anymore. We're gonna offer a head stall with a rope head stall and then the slides. So if you don't want to mess with this pig and string, um, then you can get that option too. We're also offering a leather head stall with the slides. So there's three different head stalls that you can choose, which is the pig and string, the rope pole with the slide and the leather. Um, so just nice all around gag, you know, you can use it pretty much on anything. Um, I will say that, you know, if you want to run in this, make sure your horse is pretty broke in the face and the reason is on these sliding gags and i'll just kind of show this right here if you start having this reaction you know your sliding gag is probably to blame a little bit uh, you want your horse to be pretty uh pretty broke to when you ask them to come back so they don't move away from you because a lot of times this this gag has one action which is up and down it doesn't do anything else but up and down it doesn't have any side pull. It doesn't have anything like that. So when you ask a horse in, you're getting good shoulder control, good rib cage control. But when you come back on the outside, and like me, I like to come across. So this is going to move up on the inside of the mouth. And I've had horses that'll bow out on the back side of the barrel with these. So the, my horses move out of these pretty quickly. Um, I don't particularly run horses in this. I did have one horse that won Josie Jr. World uh, with Ashley Ziegler. Um, we ran him in something like this because he, he would literally kind of stop with a curb chain on it. And he was really broke. And I always like to, uh, Lisa Ogden one time told me, uh, you tie like a leather or she used a wire on the top of these deals right here to kind of stop it from moving up so far and it kind of acted like a curb chain. So that will work too if you want to get a leather, like a leather curb or some sort of metal piece where you can kind of put a chin strap on it to keep it from riding up when you do ask a horse across. And that works really good. Um, and I did that on that sorrel horse. So there you go. And we'll see you down the road.